Our daily Bible reading lesson today is Do or Die. Thank you for listening. Did you ever hear about the frog hopping through the wood with his friends and they came to a dirt road and they were going to cross it? Here the frog jumped along and right down he went into this rut. Well, his friends came over and they were trying to help him out. He was jumping against the side, couldn't make it. And finally he said, just go on. Leave me behind. Forget it. I can't get out. Well, reluctantly, his friends went on their way. Next day, they were going along in the field, and out came their friendly frog. And they said, wait a minute. I thought you couldn't get out of that rut. And said, well, I couldn't. And then I heard a car coming. It was coming, and I saw the wheel coming at me, and I had to. You see, it was do or die. And a lot of things in our life are like that. I can't. I'm, I'm just not able. Whenever we look to God's word, God gives us a lot of charges that we are to accomplish. He tells us things we're to avoid. And some people say, I can't. I'm just not strong enough. Well, the reality is, if we realize that it's do or die, it's amazing what we can accomplish. We see it in life day by day. Sometimes we forget it in the spiritual realm day by day. You know, in their reading yesterday in the book of Nahum, we find in chapter 1 that God is jealous, the Lord revengeth, the Lord revengeth and is furious, the Lord will take a vengeance upon his adversaries, he reserveth wrath for his enemies. God wants us to know that in his justice, his righteousness, he must deal with sin. Those people that have uh, decided to do evil against God will receive a just recompense. Well, whenever you read on in chapter 1 and verse 15, he talks to Judah and he says, Behold upon the mountains the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publeth his peace. O Judah, keep thy solemn feast, perform thy vows. Well, in the earlier verses, he had told them God does this to his enemies. Now he says, you do this. Do you think in their mind that sometimes they might have said, well, we can't do this, and then they realize, do or die. You know, I know many an individual, whenever they contemplated responding to the gospel, doing those things that in order to become a Christian you must do, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, Acts 2 and verse 38. I can't do that. I, you know, if I do that, it means, and all sorts of excuses are brought up, but the reality is, if we realize that it is the only way, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life, John 14 and verse 6. He said, the way to heaven is narrow, Matthew 7, verse 13. Few find it. Why? Because most don't want to look at it and realize that it is do or die. Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You see, he realized and he didn't hide from his mind the fact that God will recompense upon those who do evil. He would later say in Hebrews 10 and verse 31, it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. You know, I love to think about the love of God that he will deal with evil, he will deliver us if we stand by him. But I also want to remember that the wages of sin is death. And knowing the terror of the Lord, I persuade myself, do or die. You know, I thank you for listening, and I hope that each of us has a great day. And we will if we look at each decision and realize it's do or die. The love of God or the justice of God as he recompenses evil. Have a great day. Thank you again for joining us in this Bible study. We remind you, if you'd like to follow along in our daily Bible reading, the link below in the description of this video will give you the PDF so you can read right along with us. If you have any other questions or if you'd like information on a Bible study, contact us with the information provided on the screen before you.